Have you ever found yourself stuck trying to test a function in Jasmine only to be met with confusing errors? It can be really frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're going to learn how to spy on a global function and return a value in Jasmine. I totally understand how annoying it is when your tests fail due to simple mistakes. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges when working with Jasmine, especially when it comes to spying on functions. Here's the specific situation we're addressing today. One user asked, how can I spy on my function and return to in Jasmine 2.0? They encountered an error stating that the method does not exist. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this and find a solution together. So what's going wrong here? The error suggests that Jasmine is misinterpreting the function name. This often happens when the function is not properly referenced. We'll break it down step by step to clarify how to fix this. And stick around. I have a great tip at the end that will help you avoid similar issues in the future. To begin solving this issue, the user needs to correctly set up the spy on the global function. In Jasmine, the spy on function requires the object and the method name as a string. Next, the user should ensure that the spy is set up before the function under test is called. This means placing the spy on call at the beginning of the test case. Now the user should verify that the test case is structured correctly. The expect statement should check the return value of my function to test, which should now return the expected result. Finally, the user can run the test to confirm that it passes successfully. This will indicate that the spy is working as intended and returning the correct value. Fun fact, Jasmine was named after the flower because it represents purity and simplicity in testing, just like a well-written test. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggested by another user is to redefine the global function using Jasmine's create spy method. This allows you to easily return a specific value when the function is called. Here's the tip I promised. Always double check your function references in Jasmine. A small oversight can lead to frustrating errors, but with practice, you'll get the hang of it. And there you have it. You should now be able to spy on a global function and return a value in Jasmine. Remember, Testing can be tricky, but with the right approach, you can overcome any challenge. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips, and don't miss our next video on advanced Jasmine techniques.